Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com, and in this video, we're going to go back into my Facebook advertising platform, into the Ads Manager, and we're going to go do some more analysis on this ad campaign that you've been following along with. This is the third video in a row that we're looking at and analyzing the same ad sets that we set up together in the retargeting campaign. Last time you saw that I had added a bunch of my $5 a day ad set kind of examples and I also scaled the first two that I had together. Today we're going to go back in. It has been about six days or five or six days since we last looked at these. I personally have not even looked at them once myself. So we're going to jump in. We're going to analyze what has happened since we last connected in analyzing the data from these Facebook ads. We're going to go ahead and make decisions whether to scale hold or remove some of these ad sets based on the numbers that are available to us today. So let's jump right in and get started here. So give me one second so I can move out of the way. And you can see it's the same retargeting ad set that we have set. And if you just be patient with me, I am running on um, a data tethering, but it looks like we got a good connection. So you can see these were the first two that I set up, and these were the two that I scaled. And then below all of these interests are the $5 a day ad sets. You can see that my amount spent on the $5 a day ones is about $55, which is a, a good ad spend. My average order value here is approximately $90. So I'm okay with spending up to $90 and not seeing um, any sales, right? As long as my cost per lead is in. So when we first load this, there's two places I instantly want to go look. And it's this bottom line results from all of the ad sets combined. And the first one I look at is my cost per lead. So right here, you can see my cost per lead is 38 cents per lead um, for a total of about 3,800 leads at this point. I am cool with that number. So based on my cost per lead, all of this in aggregate, right? All 19 of these ad sets working together are well within my cost per lead KPI. So right away, I'm, I'm stoked and I'm happy to kind of let these run. But now the question is, what can we scale and what do we need to remove? So that's when we go over here to the cost per new customer column. And you can see right here, this top one, this lookalike is one that I scaled the most. I put this one up to $25 a day because of the numbers that it gave. I did that in the last video. And this one was scaled up to $15 per day. So now we go all the way over here to the right and you can see I'm only getting new customers on this retargeting one at $210 each. That's way out side of my KPI. The good news is I'm getting $50 customers here still, even after upping that. You can see I brought in six new customers. Each one of these is worth about $90 to me. So I'm making, you know, about $45 per customer on that one times six. So that, that's a good ROI for me. This one's not golden. My number down here, my total ad set number is out of my KPI. So I'm actually going to turn off this retargeting one right here. So now that's off and that's my, my website retargeting. And I'm okay to leave that off because I've got another idea, uh, another ad set that I want to run to those people. So I'm not saying that they don't work. I've had that ad set, that exact audience working in the past. Just right now from the time I entered the auction and the way this is structured, if for some reason isn't working, I've had times in the past where this lookalike didn't work and all of a sudden this is working today. This is the game, so I'm adapting with it. So now you can also see as we scroll down, I've got a lot of these $5, every one of these ones right here on the $5 ad sets, these are ones that have generated sales. And you can see I've got a lot of sales coming in here at $55 and I could double that pretty easily and still be within my KPI. So I am going to scale each one of those. But you notice if I go to the bottom here, my per action number hasn't changed and you can still see it's got this one that I turned off. It moved it to the bottom. What you want to do when you start turning them off is come up here to the filters, click on the delivery and then click on active. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to remove that ad set from it. So now you can see that one ad set that was off is actually gone. And now it recalculates all of my numbers based on the ad sets that are only here. And you can see I've still got about $103 per customer. So this number is not sorted. But you got to keep in mind, I've only spent $55 per ad set 
on these newer $5 ad sets. And I can spend up to $90 on each one of these, right? Like I could see up to $90 before I make an ultimate decision. So I'm not totally concerned with the fact that I'm showing this hundred and kind of $3 outside of my KPI because one sale here or one sale here or another sale on any one of these could easily bring this whole thing inside of KPI at five dollars per day on an ad set that still has 35 dollars to go i can let this run for another week so i literally at five dollars a day have another week that i'm able to let those ones run before i need to make an executive decision on any of these the reason i'm able to let it run for another week again is because my cost per lead is good if my cost per lead was not within my kpi then i would be adjusting more aggressively before spending the 90 dollars or the cost the average kind of income per new customer. I hope that makes sense. I've said it about three or four times in, in a few different ways here. So now what I'm gonna do is I wanna go into each one of these and I wanna increase my budget for each one of these that's working well. And on this top one, since I'm still well, well, well within my KPI, and you can see that's actually my best performing campaign. It's got the best cost there. I'm gonna start by increasing my amount of spend on that. I am gonna increase this one by another $10 per day. And I am happy to kind of just throw the money at the ones that are working. And that's the whole goal here is to really just work more on what's working and kind of like remove the ones that aren't working. So then I go down, I find my next ad set. I'm going to click on it just to highlight it. And my next ad set that has a new customer. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to bump this up by $5. And I want this one to be $10 per day. And I'm going to repeat this process. I believe the one right below it was another ad set that had one. And that one is, and now let's get to this one. And you can see I've got one customer there on this. Perfect. I want to add some more money to this ad set. And I'm going to scale this one to $10 per day. Click that. It goes ahead and resets it. I come over. What's the next one? It's this one down here. So I'm going to click and scroll back and set it up to ten dollars a day now if you're watching these videos and you're like man miles you make it look easy right it, it seems so simple i, I want to let you know that it actually is right the the things that are really working for me that if you're just starting that you you're gonna have to dial in is the fact that my funnel is highly optimized i have over the course of the last few years found a really compelling opt-in and a really compelling one-time offer for my audience and what that allows me to do is really only focus on the advertisement side. If you're just starting off, if you have an untested funnel, you're going to be doing a little bit more work, kind of doing split testing and conversion optimization on your site at the exact same time. But I've kind of made it over those hurdles. And again, you know, it's, it's important to remember, like, I'm a professional at this, right? I've been doing this full-time, right? I've been full-time online since 2010. I've been running Facebook advertising for, I don't know, six years, five years now. So i I've got it down and I'm trying to make it as easy as possible so you can understand kind of what it takes, right? And if you've watched this series of videos, it is technically really, really easy, especially when you get your funnel dialed. And if you're working on a few other things at the same time to get started and you're feeling like you're juggling uh, a few more balls, you got a few more things in the air, you're spinning a few extra plates that you don't feel very comfortable with, know that I was there, right? That was a part of my path to getting to this point to where I can only focus on these ad campaigns. I can get them dialed in in such a manner that I literally am able to just kind of show up maybe once a week or once every four or five days make a small tweak and then disappear in the woods and go camping which I'm, I'm camping right now you can see my new solar panel right there behind me uh, we're running off of solar right now which is kind of fun total random comment but I want to encourage you to go through the learning curve right I want to encourage you to take enough time and enough energy to make it through this five dollar a day ad campaign kind of game plan or this system for running your Facebook ads it really does work and it really minimizes your risk right like I'm not out much if one, two, or five of these ad campaigns don't actually deliver a customer within a $90 ad spend because I'm getting leads, right? I'm getting leads at a very good KPI that I know has a lifetime value well within the, my lifetime value of a customer. And that's because I've been doing this for a while. If you're just getting started, know that these $5 a day ad campaigns drive great traffic for you to run split tests on your 
opt-in page, it's great traffic for you to run split tests on your OTO. When your opt-in page is converting at 40 or 50% and your OTO is converting at 1.5% to 3%, you really have the numbers kind of dialed in a way that all you're really going to need to focus on is the ads. Once you get those running, it really is kind of maintenance and momentum mode where you're not really messing with things too much. It doesn't take that much action on your part to really get the long-term results that you desire from your Facebook advertising campaigns. It can take months, maybe years, depending on where you're at, what your niche is, and how much experience you have with copywriting and these kinds of things, but it's worth it in the long run to figure it all out. So if you'd like to see a little bit more inside of my funnel, if you want to see behind the scenes of my funnel, my one-click upsell, and my ads themselves, you can go ahead and go to milesbeckler.com forward slash FB ads, F B A D S, right? I'll go ahead and put a link up here at the end in the end screen. It'll be a, a thumbs up or I'll, I'll have a, a link pop up here in one of these corners of the screen for you. And there is, you will opt in for it. It's required to opt in. But once you're on my list, I show you even more in depth about my funnel, my ads, my numbers, so you can understand. Um, I have changed my OTO. So my average value per customer is up a little bit from there, but the basic theory really applies. And I wanted to give you an in-depth look at what works for me so you can kind of mimic that and so you can kind of model that for yourself and I'm consistently and constantly tweaking things little by little as we move forward which is a part of the game for you but I just wanted to put this video out there to show you what to do when something gets outside of KPIs what to do when you see your five dollar ads come within the KPIs and start to deliver sales at well under your cost per customer acquisition how to scale those ones up and I'm gonna check in on this probably let's see it is a uh, 720 22. I'm thinking I'm probably going to check in before the end of the month. And if it's noteworthy and worthy of bringing you along with another video on what's going on with this, I will absolutely bring you along to keep you informed. So you can kind of use what I'm doing to help you lay a foundation and infrastructure, a mental framework for you to plug into your ad sets, your Facebook ad campaigns, because my goal here is to help you achieve success with your Facebook advertising and ultimately with your online business. I really do appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up here in YouTube. Helps me get the reach out on this. And my whole goal here is simply to get the right way to do things out into the world. Obviously, there's many ways to run successful Facebook ads. This is obviously clearly, as you just saw, working wonders for me in my business. So I really want to just share this information with anybody else who's interested. I thank you. If you have questions, hit me in the comments. I will try to answer them when I have service. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Thanks again.